I'd say about a good six foot jumps, about as high as my head and about maybe at the most nine feet in length off of a ramp. That was pretty decent. And that's pretty good for these uh, semi-pro cars. I have some other ones that, that wouldn't even really come close to that except for maybe my Zingli Hong uh, 9125 or the uh, Legendary, which I noticed they came out with a truck that is uh, now is on Amazon that kind of combines the two with the double connecting for the batteries and whatnot. But anyways, no further ado, let's get back to the lecture at hand, or I should just say, let's unbox these. B.I. Something. Bees. These bees. Birds and the bees. Try not to swear on my channel. <coughs> I try. <coughs> However, this is for people to enjoy. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I hope that you do. I put it out there for people to enjoy and to see what I'm into and what is out there. So what do we got, guys? It is. It's the E14. It's the 144001. Now, I've been excited about the 144001 <laughs> because it. I've heard so many reviews and I've just been watching. I've been reading up on all this stuff. Not reading up, but watching up on all this stuff, really, YouTube. And, uh, you know, checking them out online and things like that and seeing what they're made of and what's in them. I'm at the point in my hobby career where I don't just look at a car and see what it can do. I need to know what's in it. And I need to know exactly the size of the motor, how it's, you know, how it works. So here we go with the second box, guys. You guys ready? Yeah. What do you guys think it is? What do you think it is? I know you guys already said, but what do you think it is? We all thought it was the blue version. So we didn't get that yet, did we? No. Oh, okay. okay. Well, so no, maybe that's, maybe it's time. That we get that one, huh? Yeah. I will say that on Banggood, I want to get the Desert Buggy too, the brushless version. The 016. Definitely. I'm definitely looking at that one. Um, but they're all on pre order right now. You can't order them. This, however, is a separate package I got with this. So let's see what it is. I can't quite remember at the moment. There we go. We got ourselves. Oh, ESCs. These are brushless 3S ESCs that you get off Banggood for like 13 bucks. And again, you have to replace the servo because I believe it's a three wire servo. I don't think a, uh, a five wire servo will sit in one of these. Let's find out. That would be decent if it did. Holy crap. I could up these cars. I got a bunch of them. Again, as you guys seen in my older video in my closet, um, I have all my semi-pro and toy cars in there. I I can easily upgrade that. Let's see. Oh, it would go into a receiver, so it would have to be a three-wire servo. That's what sucks. You got to replace the whole servo and everything. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure that's what you got to do. If somebody knows how to put this into a brushed <coughs> brushed engine. We got the parts right there. Go right there. Go right into there. And plug this into a receiver for a remote and I have plenty of those laying around I can easily grab one if you really wanted to but again this is a five wire servo and in the let me see if I can't grab it real quick so again this is a team Corrali remote and receiver I have all the team Corrali cars just about except for minus the Dementor V1 so I have a lot of these backed up spares I actually like these remotes I use them in other cars obviously um, I can always get the Dumbo RC remote as well so here's your receiver so as you can see if you know of any way to still use this servo and still plug it into here because it's obviously three wires and it's not gonna work so you know and then you find a place for that put your servo in maybe stick this here or something who knows whatever you want to do um, and then throw your fan on, your ESC, and she should take a 3S. I mean, as m hopefully the motor doesn't burn out because these things, I notice that uh, it sounds like it has brakes, but really it doesn't have brakes. It, it kind of just throws itself into reverse a lot of times. So that's kind of bad for the diffs. Go ahead. Mm. Okay, thank you. 
So there's that. Like I said, if you guys could figure that out, that'd be great. Because I don't want to have to change the servo if I don't have to, man. That's going to be a pain in the butt, butt. But if I have to, I will. Everybody knows it. Don't we? Yes. One, two, four, zero, one, seven. Here we come, right? Yeah. It better be that. It better be. You, yeah. want, you really want that brushless, huh? What yeah. if it's a brushed car? Wow, Teresa, you're not even looking at it. Oh, look at that. You I know what that it. is? Yeah. What is it? It doesn't even oh. say on it. Wow. Wow, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, my God. It doesn't have the numbers. That's crazy. It this just says a... What is it? 206 Evolution? Nope. That's 2016. That's probably when it was made. It's the year you graduated. <laughs> It does not have the number. Are you kidding me? If you look at that, does that look familiar? It looks like, oh my God, it looks like a Shogun almost. No, no, no. Does it look familiar to you to know what it is? No. no. Okay, this is the 144001, the one that started it all off. Got it on a flash deal off of Banggood oh, yeah. for some odd dollars. In other words, it's the same exact car as this. It's the one I was telling you about. It's the one who started it off. This is the upgraded. They came up with this after. Or yeah. the Desert Buggy 2 is right beside it, their brother and sister. But I don't, I'm not going to mess with the brushed version of the Desert Buggy. I got this because I just wanted to try out something. So, um, so I got this, but I usually go brushless in all of them. I have a lot of Hoseam cars where I got the brushed version of the, like the, the what is it, the Q901 and the Q902, 903. I have the brushless versions and I have the brushed versions as well, you know, but usually I just go with the brushless versions because obviously they're the upgraded ones and need less work and if you can fix it, you can fix it and work on them. Whereas if these ESCs go, everybody knows you got to replace the remote, you got to, you know what I mean, and, and replace the ESC mm -hmm. and remote. So it's just a pain in the butt and if you try to use a different ESC in here, I already tried last night because um, I had a little bit of an issue. So I tried to trade out ESCs, and it, it really doesn't work. So these are just, these are still, like I said, semi-pro, toy-grade type cars with these, uh, you know, three-in-one components with the little tiny servos. So, but the fun factor on these, again, very high, very high, very high. So this here is the very first one, the 144001. Started it all off. Then they came, then they did the upgraded versions, which is still brushed. And they, they made it a longer, longer wheelbase for more stability. Um, I don't, don't know if there's any other type upgrades that I know of. But why don't we get the original, very first one open? It looks like probably came out in 2016. I'm guessing because it says 2016 on it. Anybody want to guess what color I got? Okay, uh, we were talking about the blue one. I'm guessing it's green. Well, there's only two colors. That one and that one. Oh, then it's, it's got to be cool. No, it's red, I bet you. I say red. You say red. What do you say, Robbie? 